Good morning. Happy Monday to you. Thank you all for tuning in. I have been getting questions about when is Morning Booster coming back. Well, um, we just took, what, two weeks off or so. And uh, we just had a few things going on. And sometimes it's good to take a break, right? So that you can be refreshed and bring a right now word to someone. So happy Monday again. This is Evangelist Marion, President of Jesus is Lord Crusades. Today, we're looking at a very powerful sermon um, or scripture in 1 Samuel chapter 10, verses 8. There was an instruction to Saul by the prophet Samuel. And there are so many things we can learn from this. But today, I'm driving at one thing. Do not allow the symptoms to shift you out of purpose. Beloved, don't allow the symptoms you are seeing to shift you out of God's word. Yes, don't allow the things that are surrounding you, the chaos, the noise that the enemy is forming around that situation. Don't allow it to shift you out of purpose. Again, there are so many things we can learn from this scripture, but it is just a joy in my spirit to speak this word to someone right now. My dear, do not look at the symptoms. Maybe God has delayed. It seems like God has delayed. It's not the right thing to say. But it seems to you that God has delayed. Maybe it seems like this thing is not going to work according to that which God said. But my dear, the Lord is always on time. He is always on time. He never changes. He never, never changes. What he has said, it will come to pass. And I will keep hitting this point until we get it in our spirit. So 1 Samuel 10 verses 8, the Bible says that Samuel said to Saul, Go down ahead of me to Gilgal. I will join you there to sacrifice burnt offerings and peace offering. You must wait for seven days until I arrive and give you further instructions. Until I arrive and give you further instructions. That was a word from Samuel, the prophet Samuel, from the Lord to Saul. Wait till I come and then I will give you further instructions. Let's see what Samuel did. In 1 Samuel 13 verses 8 to 14. I won't read all of it, but it's a good scripture. There's so much you can learn from it. So please go ahead and read it. Verses 8 says that Saul waited for seven days. Saul waited for Samuel for seven days. Yes, he did. The amount of time he had been told by Samuel to wait. But the prophet did not come to Gilga at that time when he wanted him to come. He was on his way, but he hadn't come. And so the people began to slip away. A few more days and Saul would have no army left. So he decided to take matters into his own hands. Saul decided to go ahead and offer the burnt offering. He wasn't supposed to do that. That was not his assignment. It was the assignment of the priest. And just when he had done it, on the seventh day, Samuel showed up. And then Samuel said in verse 11, what have you done? And then Saul said, the people were deserting me. Because you didn't come as you promised. He came. He just probably did not come at the time that Saul wanted him to come. And so Saul allowed the circumstance that was surrounding the situation to push him to do something that God didn't tell him to do. Beloved, this morning, do not allow the symptoms just because you are desiring for that thing and it hasn't come to pass at the time that you want it. Just because you are believing God for healing and it hasn't come to pass, you know, it does not mean that you should start confessing negatively. Well, you know, the Lord doesn't heal. And, um, you know, sometimes you sit down and you have to just use common sense. And we say all kinds of things. Believers use our tongue to declare all kinds of things, to counter attack that which God has said. My dear, wait for the Lord. He is always on time. He never changes. He will come. He will answer that situation. He is a lawyer in the courtroom. And just when you feel as if you are deserted, there is nothing for you. He shows up. In this case, Saul went ahead 
and did what he wasn't supposed to do. So my dear, don't go ahead of God. Don't allow the circumstances, the symptoms, I call it, the symptoms. It is not what God is saying. The symptoms are not what God is saying. That is not the mind of God. That is not the will of God. But the enemy uses this to push us out, causes our flesh to say things that are not godly. So my dear, don't shift out of purpose. Just stay to hear the voice of God. Stay till the word of God comes to pass. Stay till that which God said you would do comes to pass. Don't go ahead. Don't go ahead. Because there is a warning. There is consequences. There are things that will happen to your life if you choose to go ahead of the will of God. And so keep meditating on the word. Keep sticking to the word. Stand on the word of God. There has to be a knowing in inside of you that if God has said it, he will bring it to pass. And that happens when we meditate on the word of God day and night till it becomes a part of us. So that no matter what the symptoms, you keep remaining faithful till his word comes to pass in your life. Amen and amen. Happy Monday. God bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord grant you wisdom. May the Lord grant you strength to remain standing in the midst of the storm. Amen and amen. Happy Monday.